Hey folks, Jonathan Bennett here with another Meshtastic update. We just pushed out version 2.3.2 as an alpha build, with the anticipation that it will land as the latest beta, probably sooner rather than later. This one is significant for a few reasons. First off, 2.3.0 and 2.3.1 had a bug that prevented them ever getting marked to stable, and in fact led to those builds getting revoked. That makes 2.3.2 the first available build of the 2.3 series. Now, there are some neat new features here, like support for favorite nodes that don't get deleted during a node DB reset. Some new sensors have been added, like the BMP085 and 180 temperature and humidity sensors, and a bunch of bugs got squashed. There are, however, four standout changes to cover. First, the MQTT root topic has changed to MSH slash 2 slash E. An MQTT topic is essentially the name of the room that will connect nodes together. This gets us away from some of the misbehaving nodes on the older MQTT topics, but it also sets the stage for some better management of the insane growth the MQTT server has seen recently. For example, the latest iOS client will suggest topics based on your local region, for instance, a city or country name. It's a great way to get use out of the MQTT server without drinking from the fire hose. Second, we added the original hop limit to some unused bytes in the packet header. This gives the network a way to know how many hops away a remote node may be, which is great for network mapping and some eventual routing changes. That brings us to number three. Speaking of routing, the 2.3 series zeroes out a couple of fields in outgoing packets, which lays the groundwork for an eventual change to the routing behavior for networks running 2.3 firmwares and newer. All I can say is yay for something smarter than naive flood routing. Possibly the biggest change is that the size of the node DB is now configurable. This started out as an experiment to track more nodes on the native Linux target, but it has the effect of making this value configurable at build time for all devices. I anticipate some lower memory targets eventually using a lower value to save those precious few bytes of memory, and maybe some devices tracking even more than the default 100 nodes. Speaking of native Linux, that has gotten a bunch of love too. As we said, the node DB size is now a runtime configurable option, so you can track a thousand nodes or more, no problem. We've also added support for the web interface on native, giving you one more way to configure and interact with native nodes. And there's lots more, from cleaning up how MQTT nodes are handled to more under the hood work for future projects. I'll link the change log in the video description, or you can go to meshtastic.org for more links and documentation. And hey, if you appreciate the update, give the video a like, give the channel a subscribe if you think I've earned it, and if you really want to go the extra mile, you can even support my caffeine habit at buymeacoffee.com slash jbennett. And coming soon is that detailed guide to running Meshtastic as a native Linux app, so stay tuned.